to sum up the marriage equality debate in Australia for my international friends, um, it's basically a debate in do people who are attracted to the same sex have the same civil rights as everyone else? Um, the left-leaning side of politics, about as left-leaning as they're about to do a fart, support a uh, free vote in parliament, meaning that all members of parliament would get a vote and it would likely pass into law with a tick of a pen. The conservatives want a plebiscite, meaning that everyone in Australia would be called upon to vote on whether uh, same-sex marriage would be legal. Um, there are pros and cons to this. Um, you know, it looks democratic. Of course, it would mean that the right would be bitching and it would be very messy and, you know, kids of same-sex marriages and, and, and families would get affected by this, of course, and it would be messy. But the, the worst part is, it's non-binding and there would be no doubt an overwhelming yes vote for same-sex marriage, but it's non-binding. So the Conservatives have already indicated that they wouldn't support it anyway. They would not support the will of the people. So that's um, what the Conservatives are pushing. And the stalemate in Parliament is that the left and the support of the independents are blocking the plebiscite, so nothing's happening. I've been going to protests since 2003, since our initial involvement in um, the Second Gulf War. Uh, and uh, since then, my kind of grassroots involvement in protests and things like that have kind of waned. My political views have pretty much main been maintained and kind of evolved, as they do as you get a bit older. But uh, yeah, I just I don't have I don't usually go to protests. However, on the weekends there was a snap protest, uh, well rally I should say, to um, support the recent bill put put up by the con some members of the Conservative Party um, to support a free vote in Parliament that would see a uh, vote for same-sex uh, marriage equality with the stroke of a pen. Full disclosure, I have been somewhat distracted over the past maybe 18 months. First with, you know, excitement of my holiday planning, um, working towards that, um, while kind of 2016 for the macro world was kind of burning with the re-election of the Conservatives here, um, Brexit, uh, the crisis developing in North Korea, Trump, um, and everything else going on. I was distracted by the holiday, uh, Burning Man, which changed everything, my whole perspective in life, uh, falling in love, which, you know, the world was rosy, it didn't matter what was going on. And, of course, it came falling apart dramatically and I didn't care what was up and what was down. And then kind of, you know, as the pieces fell back together, realizing what was going on, um, I thought it was kind of time I got back into life and um, making a stand. The popular line in Australian politics, my views on same-sex marriage has evolved. It's very true for me, but for personal reasons. Um, when I was with Valdemore, um, if same-sex marriage had been legal then, I would have been tricked or uh, pressured into getting married, I'm sure, by now. Um, I had no willpower, so it would have happened, probably. So I'm very happy that it wasn't legal then. When Bernardo and I were together, um, Australia didn't really even come up as an option for us, um, as a place to live or settle. Uh, it was always, I was always going to move to Mexico. Even though Bernardo spoke, speaks English and has many employable skills that would be easy to find work in Australia, um, we had no future here. Uh, we couldn't get recognized. There was no chance at any time in the f near future of us getting recognized, of having a, you know, getting married, starting a family, any of that kind of stuff. So it never really even crossed our minds to set up, you know, start a life here. Um, it was always Mexico, even before I knew I wanted to teach English, even before I had any idea of what I would be doing in Mexico, even before I spoke any Spanish, I knew I had to move to Mexico because there's nothing going on down here. Yeah, and also like, um, you know, you can name Mexican kids like, they have like six or seven names, it's great. You just like keep on naming and naming and naming, they have like eight names, it's great. 
Like here it's like, what, Anglos have like three names? It's boring. But with the recent push from, the, from within the Conservative Party to allow a free vote on same-sex marriage, to get this issue finally put to bed, uh, it looked actually possible that there was going to be same-sex marriage equality in Australia in 2017. That seemed insanely, in, just insane. Also, it's 2017, and uh, in August 2017, in the A universe, Bernardo and his family were coming over to Australia at around this time to come meet my family and do all that kind of stuff. And of course, marriage equality would be here to welcome him, and it would be lovely, and it would be another amazing part of our story. But this is the B universe, and of course, 2017 would give me another unlubricated fuck. So, yeah, of course, I could see marriage equality being granted in August 2017. Yes, I could see that. That is the power of this big universe. But no, the cowardly state and stagnant state of Australian politics is so much stronger than the power of the B universe that the plebiscite is still going forward. The free vote was voted down in the Conservative Party room, so it's the plebiscite is going forward in the Senate. It's going to be voted down by the left side of politics with support from the independents. And the next step is going to be a postal plebiscite, apparently. So everyone gets an option to cast a vote by sending a letter, I guess. Which will also be non-binding. So we're just drowning in our own shit again. Look, I'm very happy being single again. Um, gives me a lot more options. Um, I'm in no rush to get married, but you know, in the next 10 years or so, I can see myself settling down, finding the right guy, getting married, starting a family even. But I don't see that. I, it's not my, my mind's vision that it's going to happen in Australia. I just don't see it. And honestly, the fight isn't in me to do it in Australia. Uh, I want to go somewhere where it's already recognized, where it's already done, where it was a stroke of a pen. Even though there was much more opposition in Mexico, in Colombia, in places like that, where there still is a lot more stigma, a lot more problems. There's, there's real hate. There's real, like, there's, there's violence. But it's still the right thing to do. It's a civil issue. It's not, it's the right thing to do. And that's why it was done. So, just fucking do it. Let it be done. Anyway, that's my rant. Um, look, if you agree, great. If you don't, please argue. I would love to hear your point of view. Be my first troll. Come on, please. I would love that. I need a troll. You know, we can have tete a tets. We can do stuff. We can, oh, we can, oh, we can, we can, we can, solve, we can, we can solve mysteries. Oh, uh, just private message me, we can talk about it. This is a great idea, we can do this. This could be a new thing. Okay, no one's done that before. Alright, great. Alright, great talking to you guys again. It's my first midweek check-in. Let's try doing this a bit more often. Alright, thanks guys. Love you all. And remember to like the page, subscribe, all the yada yada yada. See you soon.